it's business time. Why is it a kid can run out and get a computer for Christmas, and in January, he's playing at a major club somewhere? It's technology. The positive thing is that technology has made this music so much more accessible, you know. 10 or 20 years ago, it cost a million euros to record an album. You can record an album now for a thousand euros. Kids with no money whatsoever can take a bunch of cracked software and they can be a producer. Back then, I guess, you know, you had to know how to read a, a, a staff and know the difference between a tr treble clef and a bass clef. The only thing that's, that's missing that I would say is bad the quality has dropped a bit. You know, everything's changing, so you really have to keep up with it. I think if you don't, you get left behind. It's so obvious to sound like, I don't know, the next year's House Mafia, for instance, but I don't think like record labels are waiting for that, you know? I understand the whole discussion, really, you know? What does make a DJ, in my opinion, is somebody that really kicks some ass on the dance floor. Whether you play it off a, off a CD, whether you play it off an SD card, whether you play it off a, I don't care what medium you will play it off. Music is music. Isn't there a new business model yet? There is. I mean, here's the thing. The new business model is that there's no business model. There really is. You have to be very, very creative. Well, I think the business model is that the artist nowadays has to be far more flexible, far more all-round. Artists can no longer afford to just do one thing. He needs to throw his own parties, he needs to be involved in promoting, he needs to be involved in marketing. Games, uh, TV and movie syncing. There's so much more out there besides trying to sell your records to kids. The social media, with Twitter, Facebook, now YouTube hits, you can make money as well. So Even the tracks are on Twitter. Um, why is that? I mean, a lot of DJs have secrets. There is no secrets anymore. Here's what I'm doing, here's the tracks. If you want to copy me, if you want to try it, go for it. Use internet in your advantage to to make yourself hurt. And you need to be able to say, okay, well, what else is going to help pay me? Live performances, synchronization, um, merchandise. There are a lot of different avenues. You're probably going to make the bulk of your money by people coming to see you as opposed to buying your physical uh, record. They're going to probably get your record for free. If you're not touring, I mean, that's that's by far and away the, the biggest bulk of the, your income as an electronic musician. You have to allow yourself to branch out and really unfortunately take the art of music and understand the business of music if you want to survive on it. If not, you better have a rich mommy and daddy. <laughs> uh -huh.